question marks have been raised over the fitness of Donald Trump to serve as president, according to the explosive White House expose that has the political world riveted. Steve Bannon, Trump's ex strategist, is portrayed as being concerned about Trump's mental capacity following his incendiary comments after the racial violence in Charlottesville in August, in which he blamed both neo Nazis and protesters. In the book Fire and Fury Inside the Trump White House, Michael Wolff wrote the debate, as Bannon put it, was not about whether the president's situation was bad, but whether it was 25th Amendment bad. Adopted in 1967, the 25th Amendment deals with removing a president's power if they are considered unable to discharge the powers of office. Bannon apparently placed odds on Trump not seeing out his term, giving him a 33.3% chance of impeachment survival or resigning in the wake of a threat by the cabinet to act on the 25th Amendment. The book quotes Bannon as saying he's not going to make it. He's lost his stuff. And the former strategist who went to Breitbart.com after he left the White House, apparently believed Trump was lying when he said he did not meet Russian officials, effectively implicating him in the wolf also said in an interview he had the indelible impression that Trump's staff came to believe he was incapable of functioning in his job, the Times reported. In his book, he wrote that during the president's recent stay in Florida at Mar-a-Lago a heavily made-up Trump failed to recognize a succession of old friends. The Politico website reported how a Yale psychiatry professor Bandy Lee had been called into Capitol Hill for hearings over whether Trump's mental state could mean the invocation of the 25th Amendment.